What's going on, people? Welcome to Throw Down, episode 253. I'm your host, Tony Polanco, and tonight I am joined by Emilio Lopez. What's up, people? How's it going? Chris Seeley. Hey, what's up, everyone? Carlos Romero. Yo, 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 yo. Yo. <laughs> Mr. Brett Murdoch. What's up, everybody? And joining us once again, Mr. Riku Sun, one, the only one. What's good, people? What's good? You know, all right, Adam was off on some wrestling show, I believe. Wrestling. Wrestling. Wrestling, man. Getting the butters. Yeah, and um, Brian's having, like, tea and crumpets or something. Something British. <laughs> <laughs> you know how that goes. Um, I, We do have, actually, Manny and I have a few things to tell you, but we're not going to do that now. We've got to get to the main topic. It's fire right now, people. Or should we wait a little bit? Carlos, I'm going to leave you. Oh, he's fucking muted. Because the thing is, we started kind of raw. Actually, no, fuck that. Before that, Riku, what have you been up to lately, man? Uh, I've been um, playing this Borderlands 3. Uh-oh. It's a, it's a very good game. I mean, at first I thought, yeah, this is a great game. You know, having fun. You know, I haven't played Borderlands since uh, Borderlands 2, so I didn't play, like I said, you know, off air. I haven't played the uh, pre-sequel, which I heard was not liked that much. And I, I didn't play the Telltale garbage. I was just like, I'm going to save all of my Borderlands nut. I'm going to save it all for <laughs> Borderlands 3. You know, as soon as that shit comes out, I'm going to bust it all. You know, so I went, I went, I'm going super deep into Borderlands 3, trying to get the platinum right now, you know, beat it and whatnot. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, you know, it's a, it's got some spooky stuff, you know, spooky. You know content. It's real spooky when it comes to the, you know, content in there. Yeah. But it doesn't, it doesn't, it didn't necessarily affect my enjoyment of the game. Until like you know the credits, but you know gameplay wise, it's it's fun. It's fun. Like you know, a lot of people say if you have played Borderlands one and two, you played Borderlands three. Basically, honestly, I think if you if you haven't played Borderlands before, I think you would enjoy Borderlands three far more. If you haven't, if you've never played a Borderlands, because I'm, I'm for what I'm hearing from everyone that has played a prior prior Borderlands, they're just like, eh, it's more Borderlands. No one's like, oh my god, this is way better than the previous one. They're like, eh, it's it's more Borderlands. So. That's the thing, you know. Um, optimization is fucking garbage in this game, and I heard that's across the board. Every fucking version doesn't matter what you're playing on, it's 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 garbage. Loading times garbage. A whole bunch of glitches in the trophies and in the UI, it's, no, hot mess. So that's like that's probably its biggest downfall. Um, other than Borderlands, I've been playing Shovel Knight on that Vita baby. Uh oh, Shovel here we Knight. go, Vita, Vita for I've life. I've never played Shovel Knight before. This is this game is phenomenal. So it's very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna get that platinum too. I'm working my way to 199 platinums. <laughs> by the way, I'm at 195, and uh, I think mm. Borderlands Three is gonna be 196. Ooh. Shuffle Knight by me 197. Uh, I think God Eater might be 198, and Super Life of a Pixel might be one. My way up there. I was, I was playing something. Like, oh yeah, that fucking Final Fantasy VIII. Oh, messing around oh. with that. <laughs> and, you you're gonna uh, get the platinum in that one? <laughs> oh yeah, I think that. No, I think that one was gonna be one of my platinums, and then I was like, mm, we'll see about this. Riku, I but, really uh, want to hear your thoughts on Final Fantasy VIII since you you didn't okay. play it before, first. Did yeah. you like? Is this your first exposure to it? Yes. This is my first take. It's first. This is my like first time oh, diving deep into it. So, how much do you hate it from somebody who's never played it before? Mm -hmm. So, at first, I was liking it a lot. You know, I I, I like the military academy type of stuff was going on. I didn't really care for you know squad. I didn't really do much at the beginning. So, I there's not not really much to hate for someone that's really not doing anything. I because you're not really doing anything. So I didn't really mind him. Um, the uh, Riona. On the other hand, Jesus fucking Christ. She is hell of annoying, super clean. I did not like her instantly. B, mm, she's kind of a bimbo. Didn't really care for her. Don't really like her that much. Um, what's the other dude's name? Zell? Zell's okay. Didn't like him at first, but I think I'm, I'm growing on to him. Her, he's a dick. So, I mean, you know, he's just a dick. Um, Junction is fucking at first i was like oh yeah it's, it's fine i don't see why everyone's complaining and then i dived <laughs> deep into it and i was like oh god this is this is this is fucking terrible 
Don't even get me started on fucking draw. The fucking draw system. At first, you guys, the same thing again. At first, I was like, yeah, draw's fine. I don't know why everyone's complaining. Especially since you got turbo mode, you know, you could just draw, 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 draw. But, you know, at some point, it starts to get tedious. Especially no, at, around the beginning of the game where they continuously are swapping your characters. Like, one minute you're using Squall and Selfie and Zell. Next minute you're using Quistus. And Quistus sucks, too, by the way. Next minute you're using Quistus. Fucking... There's too much character swapping at the beginning of the game. And you know how this game heavily relies on Guardian forces. So it's like, you know... It's from like story related bosses. They don't give you experience. So a lot of the stuff that you're rewarded with is AP points that go to your uh, guardian. So you may, you want to make sure that your guardians are always like equipped to whoever you just beat the boss with so that they could get that AP, which means that when you're swapping characters, if your guardian force isn't there, you're going to have to swap and put them there every time the game swaps your characters out. So that's got fucking annoying super fucking fast because I'm all, I was always in the menu like taking a guardian off of this character, putting it onto this character, you know, and then, you know, once you do that, they've kind of like de-equip all of the like, um, you know, the setup because you can't really have uh, three. You can only choose three out of four, you know, uh, attack. What was it? Attack, draw, item, and magic. You can only yeah. choose three of those. So it was like, you know, that you got to reset that every single time. It's just, it's too tedious. And I'm the type of guy that likes micromanaging in my JRPGs, but this was just overboard. Oh, Riku, you know, don't forget the fact how you have to <laughs> don't forget the fact how you have to like keep giving each character's magic over each other every time you switch. Unless you want to like yeah. get magic for all of them. Like, oh my god. All that shit you mentioned, yeah. and then on top of that, I'm like, Jesus. Yeah, all the switching of, like I like I said at first when I saw it, oh yeah, you can you can, I could just give like 30 thunder to him, I can leave 20 here. But then it gets to a point where it's just like it gets it just gets tedious, man. It just seems like it was a whole bunch of stuff that they wanted to do on paper and it sounded cool, but in execution, it's just so as soon as Borderlands came out, I kind of stopped playing Final Fantasy VIII for a minute. I'm definitely gonna come come back to it. I'm still gonna try and get the platinum, but it's on a it's on a hard hold right now. Yeah, I don't blame it was it was some part where Squall was like uh he got captured, he was getting interrogated or some shit, and they just bust they recently just bust him out and they got out of there. No, I know I'm on this two now. I'm on this two. So I just fought um Edna or whatever her name is. But yeah, Final Fantasy VIII, Borderlands three, Shovel Knight. I think there's just those three. I'm just shuffling between those those three right now. Now the question is, are you going to retire at 200 platinums? You'll see. I said I was going to <laughs> retire at 100, and then I said I was going to retire at 150. But now we're here at 195. <laughs> Riku man. Fucking a year, like two years later. So, uh, guys, I'm working on my 249th platinum, and uh... <laughs> Riku, you may have a problem. Guys. <laughs> Riku, this is why I, 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 I always, yeah. I don't know if I've ever said this on air because I've told the guys this all the time. You're the realest fucking gamer I know, son. Actually, you're the realest mm. nerd I know. Manga, anime, like you don't you don't do anything half ass, bro. You go all in I with really your shit. Know. You know that's that that is a pro and a con because sometimes you know I spend too much time on something that really probably doesn't deserve the time I give it. You know. Yeah, if, if Big Boss was here, was here, he'd say JoJo's. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking JoJo's, man. Oh, man. Caught up By the way, quick Sorry. thing. Um, hey. it, before we went on air, I was talking about how I don't like... Uh, I try to be very fair with my reviews. I try to be very even-handed, find the good and the bad. With FF Remake, son, I was like, this shit is 20 years old. I'm going to rip it apart, and I did. <laughs> you know, fuck that shit. Yeah. No, Square Enix not going to get mad at me for ripping an old game. I'm like, fuck this. Tony, go in. I went ham on that draw system, son. Fuck the draw system. Fuck that. Fuck the junction. Fuck all that shit. Guna, man, he's cool. Yeah, I didn't like the game either. Really, I didn't like it. I didn't like. Look, maybe I maybe he get maybe he gets better. But at first, I just saw him as some goofy simp. I just didn't <laughs> like him. I didn't like him either. I didn't like him either, man. Then fucking squall, oh, yeah. squall. Every yeah, single time, like every but time, is squall that really goes hard. All you got to do is talk to be more interesting than squall. <laughs> Damn. Everything was like you know, like squall. We need to save the world. And goes whatever. 
yeah, you don't really have to try to be better, like, and more interesting than Skull. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really like. Maybe, maybe like later on, I'll like Laguna because I see a lot of Laguna fanboys out there. I'm like, I don't see it. He's just he's acting goofy, and then he gets around a girl. It's ah, my leg hurts. Ah, ah. You're really cute, and I, I don't know. You're like, what, what, what's going on here? Like, it's just I don't know. And then Back you're like, why the again. fuck am I playing this guy? <laughs> yeah. Now? Yeah, I mean, I like the encounter music that changes when you use him and whatnot, but. I like him better than Squall, but that's not saying much. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to see how his story connects with Squalls and Squad and whatnot, because they're over here having dreams about him and whatnot. They basically know everything about this guy, and they have never met him and shit. I'm like, okay, we'll see what's going on there. Yeah, you'll see. Um, anyway, yeah. so uh, let, let's get into I think we got enough people in the chat now. So, yeah, this week's been interesting. A lot of a lot of Last of Us news. So we got a new trailer, right? Uh, release date, I believe, February 21st is coming out, 2020. And then today, the uh, <laughs> man, Riku, get ready, man. So today, outbreak day. So yeah, so t- yeah, outbreak. So today, um, you know, they they said that the game was not gonna have the multiplayer mode, right? Motherfuckers lost their mind. Twitter was free entertainment for me, and I'm saying for myself because I never cared for the multiplayer for the first game. So I'm like, okay, I'm just watching these guys go off. And I'm gonna give a big shout out to our boy BG from you know Broken Games HD. Love the guy, mad cool. He is one of the coolest, like you know, as far as like temperament goes, guys out there. He's very like even keel, right? He went fucking crazy. I was yeah, just well, on he it. went back to his old version of yeah. himself. Have you seen? Do you know the old school version of BG? Yeah, that yeah, like the, I, I that one I know of. I, I haven't experienced that version, but I was on. I, I just like Twitter. I had one page just on him, because it was like everything he's dropping is gold right now. This is hilarious, you know. Yeah, um, it was fucking hilarious. Holiday. So you know, we'll give the update on that a little bit because I want I want to go through the whole drama. Uh, so Riku, yeah. man, uh, what were your thoughts on it initially when you heard that this game, uh, Last of Us Two, was not going to have multiplayer? Um. At first, I wasn't like some of these people where their their heart dropped. This generation is confirmed garbage. I'm, you know, I'm about to kill myself. Type shit. Yo, you know, B- by this- the way, BG and Hardy called a truce today, man. That's how no, real this I, shit got. Yo, if you told me that something something was gonna happen today that was going to cause BG and Hardy to call a truce, I would, I would be like, what the fuck just happened? Did, did PlayStation and Xbox just combine and say that the PlayStation 5 and Xbox are, <laughs> like, they're, they're combining together to make a console? Like, what the fuck happened? I wouldn't, I wouldn't know Introducing the play box. The, yeah, the play box, yeah. And also, we gotta, gotta, they had to do this, because I've been watching the whole video. I also have to give a, a shout-out to Hard 8. Guy's always cracking me up. That video he put up, I only saw the first minute. I was oh. in tears. I, I was... Yeah, this, this is hilarious. <laughs> like, he was so mad. Yeah, His fucking was mic was, like, crazy. exploding. So, yeah, shout-out to Hard 8, too, man. Anyway, yeah, hard on that yeah, one. yeah, keep going. I don't yeah. watch that. Yeah, I don't watch the Hard Eight Hard Eight videos like that anymore. So, uh, but I I tuned in for that one. The whole twenty minutes for that that shit was hilarious. Man. Hard Eight, man. But, uh, I think they just uh they were on the um what should I call it uh what's the, what's the dude's name the UK guy Press Start podcast. They just had a Press Start podcast so like an hour ago. BG was on there. Hard Eight was on there. Wow, it uh, bring, it bring, there. Like, it like, bringing wow. people together, yeah. man. That's crazy. You know, like, Anger brings people together. <laughs> I was yeah, gonna say, my yeah. enemy type shit like it's crazy. Yeah, I, I was gonna, I was gonna say something, but I'm not gonna do it because I don't want to invite <laughs> any bullshit. Riku, what would it take for me to call a truce with a certain somebody? Son? <laughs> I have no clue. You know exactly no what I'm talking about, son. The mm-hmm. first three motherfuckers on Throwdown. Come on, son. <laughs> Crazy. I have no clue. All right, I, man. I really have no Rico, clue. Riku, you the man. You the man, uh, Riku. You the man. To be, honest, to be honest, I don't think you would be the one that w- it would be hard to make a truth with. It'd be that person's yeah. Uh, yeah, Manny <laughs> knows what I'm talking about. I'm like, what, what would it take for the truce to be called between us? But we ain't talking you about know, that. Right you know now. <laughs> Here's the thing, but uh, back to uh, <laughs> I know, right? Jesus <laughs> <Christ>. <laughs> but uh, yeah, The Last of Us, man. Um, I was definitely disappointed because I, I don't. It, is anyone here other than me a guy that liked enjoyed uh, Uncharted and Naughty Dog multiplayer? I did. Or is it just me? Okay, did you, did you, so what? Uh, you liked uh, Uncharted two, three, and Last of Us multiplayer, or did you did you dislike any of the three? Um, I think if I recall right, I liked two better than three, and um, mm-hmm. The Last of Us was it was solid. 
I mean, it was one of those games where it was solid. I didn't find it super impressive, and it didn't really stand out from the crowd for me. But it was super popular with the community, and it's the game stayed alive. And you know, that's the lifeblood of any online game is the other players. So it, it stayed popular and relevant for a surprisingly long time. Yeah, I definitely think as far as from a multiplayer gameplay standpoint, it was it was definitely solid. They did some uh, unique and interesting things as far as the crafting system in the multiplayer where, you know, you have to go around and collect certain things like a bat, some cloth, you know, uh, some knives here. Make it, You have to create your shiv mid-game, and then, you know, now you have an insta-kill melee if you can get it out on someone. Then you can make smoke bombs and all. So they had this nice crafting system within the um you know the the multiplayer combat that i you know i I, get, I don't really play a lot of multiplayer shooters but i don't see any of them doing something like that cool if they had some sort of trading system in there to like oh i need some you know i need this item to make this 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 uh lucille can you help me out or something like that but maybe maybe they will in the future because you know as far as we're hearing but uh but yeah, I, I, I enjoyed all the uh, uh, Naughty Dog's multiplayer games. So hearing that, you know, initially hearing that this one wasn't going to have one, I'm really disappointed that, that it wasn't going to be there. But, um, you know, when they were saying, you know, their, their whole, um, yeah, they, they basically took the their entire team and they focused it purely on the single player. And they said that Naughty Dog said that this is their most ambitious game yet, and that yeah. that's definitely. Here. How, how exactly is it their most ambitious game? Like, what by what metrics are they measuring that? Since I, have I have no content. clue. So I'm that could be just they handle their resources terribly. Could, yeah. It was on two disc, wasn't it? Yeah, I can not compress a zip file too. Mm-hmm. I mean, usually when it yeah. comes to such a when it when it comes to a, a a developer like Naughty Dog, you know their past works. You know they're they're not some like random developer that doesn't really know how how you, uh, you do you know, optimization. But, but uh, yeah. I'm gonna challenge you on this: Is Naughty Dog? Because we've seen it, we've seen it, the the developers they raise up. They get powerful, they sit on a title for five to seven years without really releasing anything major in the middle, and then it comes out and it's just kind of a fart in the wind. Like, it's 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 not all that it's built up to be. So, like, is Naughty Dog, like, I'll be honest, the thing that makes me scared about this is I'm like, where the fuck is this game? We should have had this game two years ago, and you're still breaking your arm to pat yourself on the back about how this is going to be the greatest gaming fucking experience ever. Like, I'm just, I'm starting to believe it less and less. I don't know. I think I'm. I'm thinking I'm the opposite. Where I'm starting to believe it more and more. I, the thing is, they. When you talk about developers that have, you know, done that in the past, where they take a while to release something and then it comes out and it's a fart. Usually, those type of developers, as far as I remember, I can't name any off the top of my head. But as far as I remember, those type of developers never really had a lot. Of titles under their belt prior, so that when that fart did come out. You know, you could look back at their shit and be like, you know what, this far kind of makes sense, you know. But sure, uh, they did. They did make Uncharted Four, and see. Oh, I was. I, was, I, was, I, was, I haven't I played it, but it wasn't. Yeah, I heard. I haven't played it, but I heard it was really good. No, no, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I'm not saying they are. I'm. I'm actually speaking specifically for. Like, I just get this really bad gut feeling when a game is advertised for five years. Like, it, it, it's been fucking forever, it's dude. It's been a while. It, no, I don't think it's been five years. Definitely, I did, you can definitely say it's the, for this entire generation. God damn it, I've been muted this whole fucking time. My bad, people. Um, all right, you can infer what I said. God damn it, all to hell. <laughs> I've been talking this whole fucking time. I've been like a fucking bitch. Obviously, you guys in the you know here with me in the panel hear me fine. Oh. They, these guys didn't. Motherfucker. I'm sorry about that, people. I'll, I'll put my audio in later <laughs> in post production. I hope I didn't say anything important. Anyway, continue. No, nah, you, you hadn't gone off on any big rants. Nah. You were mostly letting Riku 
catch up. And I'm yeah. pretty sure everybody knew he was talking about what he's been playing lately. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So oh yeah. But what I said was, um, Rot Naughty Dog has not been sitting on their ass. They released um, Uncharted Four, the uh, the what you call the Lost Legacy, Lost Legacy, and if you want to count it, the the remaster yeah, of the Last of Us. Yeah, so good, they're not yeah, game yeah, rock star. You know. I don't. I don't. I don't count that. But yeah, I guess. I guess they've only been showing us stuff for three yeah. years. I said if you want to count it, I, I don't count it either. You know. Um. Oh yeah. So yeah, that's my thing. Yeah, three years. Three years. Um, it just feels like longer. I do. I, I agree with you on that, Brett. It does feel longer, but only it's, been three it's, years. It's been about as long for Death Stranding too. Yeah, which it, we'll talk about that later. You know. Um, about that. But we'll uh, talk no, about right. that, dude. Hey, <laughs> what the fuck is Same boat. boat. Also, what? also, uh, Cyberpunk. You're in that same fucking boat. Uh oh, that game me. Cyberpunk. I would. I would definitely worry about Cyberpunk far more than I would about The Last of Us Part Two. Because at least when it came comes to the Last of Us Part Two, Breath of the Wild was five years, by the way. Uh, Black Metal Gamer just said Breath of the Wild five years. Yeah, and I want to, <clears throat> I want to say, maybe this shows my bias here. I want to say uh -oh. Breath of the Wild was one of those games that, hey, I love it. Um, it was highly publicized from the time of its inception. It wasn't necessarily that they were um, pushing that it was going to be a thing, although it, it, they weren't quiet about it either. And maybe Last of Us is this is kind of the same thing. The second we heard that they started working on The Last of Us, the publicity started. That's kind of where the problem came in. So in and out, they were they were literally showing a bunch of gameplay before the, the thing would even been even been before anything had even started. Yeah, remember they said like, "Yo, this and shit ain't coming out anytime soon." They they flat out said that like the this thing they know. were showing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they flat out said that like this shit ain't coming out anytime soon. Yeah, but it looked, and I guess that was probably it looked dull, like they 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 made something that was complete but partial. And uh, if I had to draw any difference between that and Breath of the Wild, it was Breath of the Wild was very open with their development cycle. Uh, you know, this is where we're drawing inspiration from. This is what we're trying to do. Um, Last of Us was just like, hey, here's some gameplay of Ellie stabbing a motherfucker in the neck. We'll see y'all in three years. Show the Ellie thing. They only showed the Ellie thing last year. Showed years of, a while ago was that those first two, that first tra uh, the first two trailers, the trailer where, or that was the teaser. The second one was the one getting the of the lady getting hung on the thing, yeah. and her neck getting th uh, cut open. Yeah, yeah, the first, yeah. Only yeah, last that. year yeah. we got to see real gameplay of it. That's right. Yeah, the first one, like you said, it was literally just Ellie like playing guitar, playing guitar in a room, yeah, you know, in a room full of dead people, and then the people, you know, the woman getting hung, and that guy getting his arm fucking like crushed and shit. Um, is it really just last year? Man, my perception of time is just <laughs> all over the I mean, goddamn. Come on, like, Welcome to being an old man, Brett. Posted posted the posted the thing from the lat from the last year's E3 and he was like, "Is that gameplay? Is that gameplay?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Carlos, where you at, man? Um, and so anyway, you know, just to skip forward, so tonight, right before we went on air, um, Naughty Dog came out to say that the game, w okay, Naughty Last of Us Two will not have multiplayer, but a multiplayer portion is being made. So, oh when, no, yeah. they're pulling a Fallout 76. Maybe, oh, you know, you so say we, maybe. Yeah. So, uh, so you, okay. no, I, no, I said maybe with the Fallout 76 thing, but uh, the yeah. separate the separate mode that's not a maybe, that's a definite. They're, they're coming out so with they're it. Making, they're they're, they're co developing a new mode that's going to be its own thing. And well, that's how they it. always do it, dude. Well, that's what Fallout well, 76 did. No, 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 no. I'm shit. saying, no, no, no. Online mode for from from um, from Naughty Dog is a separate mode. Yeah, the, the single the, sing, the single player multiplayer are completely separate. Yeah, they're separate. separate. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. If they make if they sell the multiplayer as its own package, that's essentially that same business model that pissed a lot of people off. But it's not though, because it's not like a a, a game that where people thought it was going to be a single player game and it didn't turn out to be that. This is a pure Fallout. straight Wait, up. People thought move. Fallout was going to be a single player. Yeah, they did. That's that's part of why they were mad. They were like, "Hey, where's my single player Fallout experience?" They thought they were going to be able to do that in an online space. That's why they were mad. At least half of them, you know. It's remember, like, okay, remember, well, Brent. Yeah. They're not like us. People aren't like us. They're not informed. You I just, know. Yeah, I just I, I did that that level of misinformation. Is, wow. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Does that? But this is like. You know what is it called? Riku factions, right? It's the same shit. It's not going to be like open world online thing. It's just going to be straight up, you know, multiplayer yeah. like so shooting they, people in the face mode. You know. I wonder if it's yeah. Be a so player. paraphrasing. Oh, go, wait, wait, Brett, ask yeah, that so again. Paraphrasing what they were saying. Hold on, hold on, Riku. Hold up, Brett, ask that again. 
will it be a separate title or a DLC? D- there's the question. Um, there's a question. I have my own theory about this. But anyway, we could go on. Yeah, I think as far as the multiplayer, um, would you say, I, I think it's going to be similar to what they did with, uh, you know, uh, Uncharted Lost Legacy, where it's a standalone thing that you have to pay for. But it was... Did um, Lost Legacy come out, with, come out with? Like $40, right? Something like that. Don't don't call me on that, though. Um, you, yeah, guys I think in, it was, guys I think in the it was either 30 or 40 Yeah. Yeah, guys in the chat us. But it was like 30 or 40 But whatever the price was, look at that, you know? This is this the same developer we're talking about. So I think when it when it comes to whatever standalone multiplayer that they're talking about, paraphrasing what they said, um, you know, what Tony was referring to, they basically said, you know, their their entire team is working on the, you know, to make the best single player that they can poss- they possibly can. They have not forgotten about the multiplayer, um, and they, you know, they are excited to get to that, and they haven't forgotten about it. Um, I think I definitely think once The Last of Us Part Two comes out, everyone's playing, everyone's enjoying it. I definitely think their team is going to be focused on releasing that uh, multiplayer standalone. Most likely, by the time we get our hands on it, we'll be you know loading up our PlayStation Fives and shit. I think I think when it comes out, you probably around thirty to forty dollars, and if they're pushing it sixty, but um. That all depends on how much they put in that standalone multiplayer because um, they had the most that they had in the in their multiplayer was what they had team deathmatch they had a uh, supply raid interrogation modes um, if they're gonna make a standalone they're definitely gonna have to give you more than just those three they're gonna have to plus they're gonna probably have to give you some type of co-op mode. You know what Uncharted had? They had the three-player co-op adventure. Yeah. They, <clears throat> the, they could do something with that in uh, The Last of Us. I don't know if they're going to, you know, bring in some, like, random characters. Because, you know, The you know, Last of Us, had, you know, has a lot of, a lot of you know, side characters, like those uh, those black guys from uh, Part 1 or whatnot. But um, I'm sure they could come up with something. Adventure, they could do a co-op horde. And hell, man, people still like the fucking uh, Battle Royales. They could do something with that, too. Oh, don't say it, Riku. <laughs> you he, know they're going to do the it. Here's the thing, Tony. He, yeah, I know. And you know, like I said, it's still popular. And the ones that are the ones that are popular are the polished ones, you know, from a gameplay standpoint. Word, so, P- PUBG was, po- po- um, was fucking polished? No, no. It's not popular anymore. That's the thing. Yeah, it is. For, there's still millions of motherfuckers playing it. You don't hear about it, but there's still you know, millions of dudes playing it, man. But you know, but you know who are, who's, who's, what's getting played more? Apex Legends. No, or yeah. From an gameplay standpoint is more polished than PUBG. Oh, I'm not disagreeing with that, but you can't you can't say that the only ones that make it to the top are the polished ones because PUBG no, no, is no, crap saying, and it's no, the, the, saying, yeah. No, I'm not saying it's at the top. I'm saying the popular ones currently. Like I, I personally, I keep up with like you know the the fucking what, what's the word you guys use the uh, zeitgeist. The of, zeitgeist, uh, yeah. Ba- ba- mm-hmm. Battle Royale games, the zeitgeist of battle royale games. As of right now, the only ones I'm still hearing shit about is Apex Legends. And Fortnite. It's interesting. I don't. I haven't heard anybody talk about Apex Legends anymore. That shit dropped Dude, off the Apex. map fast, you know. No, but I still hear about PUBG all the fucking it. time. It's interesting. But to Dude, be fair, maybe, for me, maybe, I yeah. But to be fair yeah. though, I just get a lot of press releases about PUBG, you know. Um, but but, but Fortnite, pff, you can't escape that shit. Yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. Know? But uh, yeah. Point is, um, The Last of Us gameplay it plays. You know, you can see it playing similar to like a PUBG or an H1Z1 as far as this, this like, person shooter type of shit. So I wouldn't be surprised if they try, they tried to make their version of Battle Royale and then threw some clickers in there. You know, a horde of clickers tried to do some da- Daisy, not Daisy, fucking uh, Days Gone, yeah, Days Gone type of shit. They could, they could definitely to to be a multiplayer only standalone that could reach. Uh, $60 and be worth that price to the people that are looking forward to it. So, yeah, we'll see We'll see what they're working on, because someone tells me if Sony comes back to E3 or whatever fucking press conference they decide to do in 2020, if it's not E3 or State of Play or PlayStation Experience, whatever the fuck they do, we're probably going to see player game be, you know, showing off there. After everyone's already done platinum 
uh, Last of Us Part Two. Yeah, let's see about those platinums, man. <laughs> Stingy ass trophies, man. Hey, yeah, I mean, but it's at least now we know it's just going to be single player trophies, you know. No yeah, that is true. This time around. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I'm looking forward. I'm still looking forward to the game. If they're saying that this is their most ambitious game yet, I believe them. This is not like they really haven't given me from their past games to believe or have any suspicions or take them with a grain of salt. Um, my, this is my like they're, yeah. They're giving it their all. yeah. My conspiracy theory is that they're gonna release the quote, quote unquote complete version for PS5. I can see that too. I you can know? see I can see them doing a a standalone multiplayer version, and then a you know PS5 a Last of Us Part Two Definitive Edition with both of them in there. You know, I can see them doing a whole bunch of different shit stuff with that with Last of Us. They, that's their baby. Yeah. Does anybody? After you know, Last of yeah. Part two is done. No. Go ahead, Rico. What happened? No. And as after the Last of Us Part Two is done, like the multiplayer is out of the way, I wonder what the hell they're going to do next. Who knows? Um, but that that's speculation right there. Um, so besides Riku, does anybody care about the um, the multiplayer of Last of Us Two? Uh, really? Mm-hmm. No. I there's, there's really like Last of Us for me is a single player game for all yeah, I know. Man. Exactly. <laughs> So I, I mean, Uncharted I, games I, in I, general I, for me are like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I know Uncharted yeah. has multiplayer. Don't, that shit don't count. You know, shit. Yeah. Even even a game like God of War, I don't even know if that shit has multiplayer. No, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, but what? didn't Ascension? Ascension have some did, bullshit? and it was bullshit. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Some bullshit in Ascension. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah. I actually heard Ascension's multiplayer was the only good thing about Ascension. No. No, <laughs> just, just 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 like Ascension, it was you unnecessary. You don't really like that many multiplayer games, Tony. So I don't know if I could take your opinion on that. Oh, that, that yeah, wait, that's not. Uh, that's just a fact. <laughs> you know? I mean, that's not, yeah. <laughs> you should always take my. You should, you should always take my opinion on multiplayer games with a with a grain of salt. But I still say it was trash. <laughs> I mean, I played the beta. I didn't think it was. I didn't think it was special. Basura. Yeah. You know. Uh, I didn't think it was special, but uh, I mean, from from the friends, I they said they enjoyed it. And it's it's funny to see sort of <laughs> the Xbox fanboys woke up out of their slumber. Oh gosh, gosh, yo. <laughs> yo, they grabbed the Jergens, they grabbed their they they grabbed their fucking <laughs> <laughs> mouse, and then it was all up on the Twitter. Yeah, Sony fanboys, yeah, what, what's going on here? We over here enjoying our Gears of War three multiplayer. You know, they, they, <laughs> they was having a ball today. The Nintendo guys too, man. Blander was all up in there. He was he was having a ball with his with his Nintendo guys. If you want to play a, a multiplayer game, how about you guys hop over to hop over to the Splatoon? I'm like Jesus Christ. They Yo. <laughs> Yeah, I, I gotta say this. Uh, our boy J Dub City, uh, Kratos. Uh, this what he tweeted out: Xbox dudes being more mad at Naughty Dog for not offering a multiplayer at launch than they are of Microsoft for providing shitty low-rated games all generation. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, See, speaking of rated games, I think I made a t- I made a poll asking this question. I wanted to know you guys because I know you guys don't really give a fuck about Metacritic, but you, do you think that it not having a multiplayer is going to impact its, its score in any way, shape, or form? No, because because the, the guys reviewing it don't give a fuck about the multiplayer. Let's just be honest. True. So you so you don't you see so you think that none of the reviewers in in any of the uh, sites that get on Metacritic are going to be going to be like, oh, this one doesn't have a multiplayer like the previous one. They're not going to mention it no, whatsoever. No, because the guys who reviewed it last time never even talked about the multiplayer. If you think back, like the bigger Actually, sites, they never even talked about it. They were just like, oh, yeah, multiplayer is there. None of them played it. Yeah, you know? I mentioned I mentioned that, too. The fact that uh, when when The Last of Us Part 1 was coming out, a majority, if not everyone, was surprised to the fact that it did have a multiplayer to begin with. Mm-hmm. And, you know, a lot of people were, like, surprised. You know, they, they were also surprised that it was, you know, not shitty. Uh, but the fact is they were surprised that... <laughs> You know, this game had a multiplayer because Sony never, or not Sony, Naughty Dog never advertised the fact that this shit had a multiplayer. So now it's like I was saying, now it's kind of backwards. So now people are surprised that it doesn't have a multiplayer. <laughs> I just found that shit funny. Yeah, but I don't think it's going to affect the Metacritic at all. I highly doubt you that. Think, so you think it's going to be like 96, 95? I don't, I'm not gonna predict the fucking numbers. You know I don't do that, but it's not gonna affect. Uh, mm. It's not gonna. You know, I'm all about that shit. Yeah, mm. it's not. By the way, 96 is not getting that hot. 
That's that's Zelda territory, mm, that, you know. Really? You yeah. know, Last of Us Part One got a ninety-five, right? Oh, really? Okay. Oh, okay. I didn't think. I didn't know that. This one. Yeah, but that's just. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they know it was uh, a ninety-five and, game. And, 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 yeah, it was and, a ninety. And, and actually, you remember, Rick, I think this one's gonna and, get higher than to be honest. Um, I'm not. I'm not gonna state why game, though. Especially since you said all of the reviewers were focused on the single player. If Naughty Dog is taking, you know, focusing all the time on the single player, like truly this time around. And that's all the reviewers were even focused on the first time. You know, we, we're gonna see. We'll, we'll see about that. We're gonna see about that. <laughs> we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Oh man! All right. Um. Any other thoughts on Last of Us Two? Anything? Hey man, I'm looking uh, forward uh, to the game. I'm looking forward to the single player. You know, pulled an okey <laughs> I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna go. play it. <laughs> you oh, gonna play Last of Us Part Two? Interest in it. You're gonna be too busy oh. playing Death Stranding, man. No, I'm gonna be too busy. He's gonna be on his third playthrough. Playing Control and Death Stranding because oh, that's shit. how slow my gaming is right now. Yeah. You haven't gotten to Control yet, man. You, no yeah. time, man. He's been busy. No time, he's been yeah. working. <laughs> he's been busy working on something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm Excuse that. me. <laughs> we'll we'll talk about that. Oh, I'll talk about that. Yeah, you like, you that. saw what I got right there, man. Oh, yeah, you got the Tom Du Bois uh, cover on. We'll talk there, about nice. that. We will talk about that. You know, <laughs> um, so yeah, if it, you don't have any other thoughts, we'll move on to the next topic, which is also about Sony. All right, so they had the state of play. Uh, when the fuck was it? Tuesday, but I don't know. One of those fucking Tuesday. days, Tuesdays. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip to it, man. Manny and I live streamed it. What a waste of our fucking time, man. Yeah, 20 minutes, 20 minutes of bullshit. I'm sorry, man. And you know, I'm a Sony fanboy, and I'm like, what the hell is this? You know they they like, kicked, there you know, was like I was like really was it necessary to have this even in a I don't know I mean granted that cra that crazy game with the thousands of people running around that looked interesting but I mean or any of the other things except for Last of Us on there yeah like um you know I'm, I'm just gonna tell you what they showed they had the Last of Us two we talked about that that new trailer um they had call of duty modern warfare the big controversy with that one is like i think you're gonna have some dlc that's exclusive to playstation for a while um if adam was here he would have told us more about that um they announced a limited edition death stranding ps4 bundle um like the control the coolest thing is the controller it has like amniotic fluid and a baby in there it looks like piss though let's just be honest the baby in it. it doesn't have the baby in it all it does is just it's just it's yellow like i thought, a, I thought somebody said the baby was in there baby I only appears was... in there for a couple of seconds as a special effect on one on the left oh the left so the baby side. is in there there you go it isn't because it's it disappears immediately ah but it's still there though it's an it's an optical illusion though. It's a, yeah, it's not like a physical little baby is in there. Well, it's you know? not anything. It's not any. The only thing that's on, it only showed up as part of the transition. So when the thing comes in, then you see the baby for a couple of seconds, then it's yeah. gone. So if you get the actual controller, you won't see it in there. It's well, not on there. Well, that's false advertising then. It moves. It's not. How are you going to make a thing move inside of it? No, fill it with liquid. I don't know. Sony, oh. man. <laughs> <laughs> All it is is piss yellow. That's it. It's he literally is just like, it's Sony, baby. It's yeah, it's Sony, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. They're not going to get it. No. Yo, man, I want a liquid cooled controller, man, with that baby piss in it, man. Let's go. Yo, man, there aren't as many puddles as I was promised. Yeah, right. Oh, no. <laughs> you know. By by the way, by the way, by the way, Last of Us Two did not escape the downgrade uh, outrage. Oh, it's been downgraded. It's been downgraded. Here we go. It's crazy. It's happening. What the? F where? How? Who? That's insane now. People are saying they're not, not as much far. Yeah, so they're, yeah. People are like, "Hey, Ellie looks different in this game." Yeah, no shit. She's fucking like sixteen now. You know, she's older. <laughs> of course, she's gonna look different. Um, what else? She got? had that little like yeah. scar on her like eyebrow. I see yeah. that, that it wasn't really that visible. Yeah, people were complaining about. <laughs> are they are they claiming there was no her... downgrade, or they're mad because there was? No, they're claiming so they're claiming there is was it, a downgrade. Is it me? Or she looks a, a lot less like Ellen Page now. Yeah, they probably did that on purpose. Yeah, just be real. Yeah, on purpose. You Got know. to pay her. Um, Ellen, Ellen Page is like these motherfuckers are taking my, taking me and putting me in this game. Taking my permission. likenesses. Taking my likenesses. <laughs> All right. Um, she's like, good job, Sony. Like she's totally just bashing them. 
Yeah. Anyway, um, so they had medieval. Who cares? Um, <laughs> wow. You know? Is there any real nostalgia for that game? Really? Like, I, I never, I never played it. I never played one. this shit either. You know, about the original release of Medieval or Medieval Two. Yeah. It wasn't a great game when it was. <laughs> I mean, you know? Why? No, I, I, okay. Yeah, I remember when it when it was because it was kind of weirdly targeted by my. I think I was I was the perfect age range that it was kind of targeted as it was. It was targeted as a, you know, mechanically a game for teenagers, uh, but it was artistically a game for kids. Like it was a really weird mixture, trying to jump on the kind of like Spyro bandwagon. Uh, I really hate the design of that character. It was, and that's what I'm saying. Like the design, like. It, it it was meant to play like you know Soul Reaver or like be like an actiony game, so it definitely wasn't like a kids game, but it had that that stupid kid art style. Um, that wasn't it wasn't done in a charming way. Like the, the remake makes it look more charming than it actually was. It looked it just looked blocky and kiddy and cartoony, and it was it was not well received. So I just Why, imagine the was there a mind. nostalgia behind that thing? I don't think I, so. don't, I don't know I don't. who asked for this. Like that's 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 the main that's the main question. Like who the fuck asked for this? Like out of everything they could have revived or remade from the PlayStation One era, and there's a lot of fucking yeah. things. Like who the well, fuck? Yeah, I want to meet the person so I can <laughs> not make the ass out. <laughs> <laughs> Riku got full of piss and vinegar. This one. I think it was artificially created. I'm being honest. Uh oh. Sony, oh, the crickets. Sony tried for years to get Sir Dante to pretty much be uh, to catch as a mascot Mario. for the PlayStation system. And, uh, I mean, they tried, but a lot of a lot of ma mascots don't. By the but way, yeah, go, go, by the way, Glorious War says that uh, medieval is popular in Europe. Maybe they brought him back for that audience. I but mean, yo, get, yeah, we need get Brian. Brian on the show. Make yeah. him support <laughs> yeah, right. up. Oh, wasn't even alive then. I oh, wasn't <laughs> even alive when that game came out, Riku. Like, <laughs> Riku, Riku. Yo, that wasn't that was that wasn't the better. I'm older than Brian. <laughs> Riku, Riku. The game wasn't out yet. Wait, are you? <laughs> yeah. I thought you guys were the same age. Yeah, we are, but I'm older than him. <laughs> hey, no, listen, that, hey, age. hey, hey, that's a valid thing. Manny and I are the same age, but I'm older than him. It's true. <laughs> well, yeah, but you guys know what, uh, what Brian's age month is? Um, I I don't know when his birthday is. I don't remember. No, no, it's not even arguing semantics of like day and month. Like Manny and Tony are the same age. Oh no, no, I'm talking. Yeah, but I'm older than him. Brian. <laughs> Tell me Tony isn't older. I am older than Manny, but we're still the same age. No, I know. I'm saying. <laughs> you know. Anyway, point is, if Brian was one of those Europeans acting for this man, he's going to have to run the fade. <laughs> so I'm saying, he's going he's, he's gonna to have to put his crumpets on the line. He's going to have to run the fade. Because uh, certainly nobody wanted this fucking garbage. You're wasting so much time. You know, how long, you know how long his backlog is? He hasn't got the first time. I'm gonna get oh. into this shit to like midway through PlayStation 5 gen. Like, come oh, on. <laughs> Riku, I'm playing medieval now. <laughs> I'm playing medieval. Uh, uh, I'm playing medieval right now. <laughs> but here's the thing. Maybe they somehow can make medieval a decent game. And, okay. I'm... Maybe. Uh... <laughs> Make like, eh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. hold on. I'm gonna let these guys answer this for me. <laughs> the crickets. The crickets. The crickets, there you go. Go. Even the crickets are like, nope, we're not doing this one. <laughs> <laughs> Talking shit about medieval, I kill you. I stand. <laughs> uh, by the way, I love how much time we're spending on this stupid ass game. <laughs> we, can't understand, we can't understand the mental and capacity of where, where this what came, is, yeah. what, came from. Re, 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 Brett, Brett, what's your question? <laughs> oh, my question is like, who's interested for this game? Wait for it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. Go ahead, Chris. I have one thing to say. I mean, in the industry, you kind of know, like insiders know what everyone's working on, and it was Square didn't hide it that they're making remakes, right? FF Seven remake, whatever. You would think Sony would go, shit, RPGs are hot right now. What do we got? 
Oh, shit, we're looking at PS1. Hey, there's a Legendary Dragoon. Let's do that. No, but you know what people are are, are fiending for? Medieval. Medieval, son. Let's go. That's that's hot in the streets. I really don't <laughs> like, here, here's, a, here's another good example. I'm loaded and reloaded. Them remaking that game. Like licenses that are cheap? Maybe, you know. Dig it through the discount bin and be like, ah, we can buy this for $20. It could, be, it, could be, it could be like the way Marvel does things sometimes where it's like, oh shit, the, we're going to run the license on the characters run out. We better r release a comic or, or put them in a book. Keep yep. the copyright. Glorious World wants to know when Ape Escape remake is coming out. Yeah, freaking Blandrew was on uh, that, I could see that as more of a of, of more of remake quality. I would have because that was a popular, seriously popular game. Yeah, it was. I really preferred a, a like in the in the fashion of Spyro and Crash, a freaking Apex game remake. I, there really should have been the game that got chosen over fucking Medieval. There's far more people that care about um, Apex game. Yeah. That. Like, anyway, let's right, move on. There's still more um play state of play shit. Um, they they had this game called Humanity, um, which was kind of the demo they showed off at the beginning. I don't know what the hell the game's about. You know, seems it's interesting. Just like, it's like a thousand, thousand like, millions, and like millions and millions of people on the screen doing stuff. Reminded me of Lokoroko. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, people, Medieval <laughs> demo is out right now. If you want to play it, <laughs> um, not a, and not a fuck was given. Yeah, mm -hmm. and th this one I found interesting because I thought the game was already out on PlayStation. Um, actually, I thought the franchise had been on on PlayStation. Uh, Civilization Six is coming to PS4, and apparently, is the debut of the franchise on PlayStation. Okay, yeah, I saw it. Oh. Freaking, uh, Civiliza Civilization was on the Vita. There was a version for the Vita. Okay, but, so it was yes, on PlayStation. Was... Yeah, Vita baby. Yeah, Vita baby. That's the one I was gonna <laughs> play to get into the franchise because my friend he's like heavy into the Civilization. I want to give the game the franchise a chance, and I looked it up. I was like, oh, look, they got a game on the Vita. I was trying there, and then I looked up literally every other game they've made. It's all been the PC exclusive, and I was like, damn. Well, I guess this is the only one I'll ever play if I, you know, if, unless I hop over to the PC gaming side, which I, you know, I was kind of doing when I said I was gonna fuck with Total War. So I may have fucked with a uh, Civilization when I moved over there, but now it's coming to PlayStation. Yeah. By the way, uh, going back to humanity, Glorious War says it's made by the creator of uh, Res and Tetris Effect. Very interesting. Okay. All right, um, Brad, I want your take on it because you you say you say RTS games on consoles suck. Order. I'm sorry. I was introducing my friend to Untitled Goose Game. Uh, <laughs> no, um, Civilization Six is coming to PlayStation Four. I want to get your take because you you've said that um, console game consoles don't really do RTS games very well. Uh, I mean, they don't. The controls for them are kind of unintuitive for the thing that you're trying to do. Um, it, it, they work better on PC. I could find them to working on console if there are some clever UI things, but um, uh, when you get down to like the competitive level on a lot of RTS games, it involves a lot of like quick clicking on the mini map and key binding, which you just can't do on console. So it. it I'm hesitant to say that you just can't make a truly successful competitive RTS on console, and you'll you'll never get the StarCraft audience. Then um, what's that? What's that one game? Um, damn it! It's a, it's a really popular RTS. What Command and Conquer? Uh, Command and Conquer. Uh, StarCraft. StarCraft. Uh, Age of Empires. Total War. No, um, no. I, maybe this isn't an RTS, but correct me if I'm wrong. XCOM. That's a strategy XCOM, game. Yeah, yeah it's, it's more strategy. of a strategy game. Yeah. Okay, never mind then. G Glorious Wars says Civilization is not an RTS. Uh, what the hell kind of game is it then? So like uh, Populous, right? Let's see. Uh, it's a strategy. <laughs> it's a strategy game. That shit looks like a, like an RTS to me. Um, where the fuck are we right now? Uh, this game called The Rise, a simple story. I already forgot Rise. what the fuck that was. Rise. Um, was that the one by the Katamari Damacy guy? Maybe. I don't know. I already, Like I said, I already forgot. No, the Katamari Damacy one is Watam. Okay. Watam. Yeah. yeah, so they showed that. Um, it's not listed here, but they also showed After Party, uh, which I wrote a preview of over on um, on Geek.com's. Uh, basically, it's an adventure game where... You, the two protagonists you play as end up in hell, and the only way to get out of hell is to outdrink Satan. 
so kind of crazy game. It's made by the mm, same people who made, you know, <laughs> it's made by the same people who made Oxen Free. So you know, it has that same kind of humor. Um, LA Noir VR game is coming because yeah, it's not really a VR game. It's a VR mode, which I'm weirded out about because I could have sworn that was already in. Like when they re release the game. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> What's on PlayStation VR? They, you just converted a bunch of the mode. Yo, shout out to Glorious War with all the bits tonight, bro. Yo, shout out. Uh, he says it's a four time strategy game. It's turn based based on hot hexagonal grid. All right. Civilization fan in the house, man. Uh, what the fuck are we? Uh, after the whoa, fall. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? This is what? A... What <laughs> This is a stunned. Leave us in suspense, Brett. Is this a, is this a Civ style game? It's no. It's Civilization. So literally Civilization. What's the name of the franchise. Yeah, I'm, I'm Remember, sorry. Brett? Civ, Civ style games were. This isn't a Civ style game. It's literally this Civilization Civ. Six. No, so, I'm saying Civ is one of it's. It's branded. It's it's made its. Own. So, yeah, oh. Civilization is the only thing that can work on a console. Oh, okay. Uh, it's, it, that's not a traditional RTS. It could work on a Vita. It could work on a console. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fair enough. All right. I'll take you guys' word for it because I, I, I'm not an RTS guy. Um, I mean, I'm an RTS. I'll be, I'll be, yeah. I'll no, well, that, that's, that proves my point, doesn't it? You know, I know. No, a real, yeah. a RTS means real time strategy. Yeah, I know what it means. I'm not an idiot, <laughs> you know? No, he's just saying, yeah. he, when he said. When he said he doesn't, that shows how much I know. He's saying he sh he's trying to tell you how ignorant he is. On that the I'm an idiot about. <laughs> that I'm an idiot about. You know, but I know what RTS he's just means. Saying yeah. Um, I just, don't, he's just, don't, he's don't, just showing how much he doesn't care about that nope. franchise. This is also yeah, true. Yeah, don't don't piss on his Cheerios, man. Come on. I don't eat that yeah. shit anyway. Fuck Cheerios, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's literally. Like, that's literally all I do. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Brett pisses on stuff I like. Cheerios, Brett, you could piss on Cheerios all day, every day. I don't care about those things, man. Uh oh, <laughs> you know. No, he's not piss on I'm, I'm not a little. That's not a challenge. Yeah. What do you eat for breakfast? Um, eggs. All right. You piss it. That sounds kind of. That sounds a little suspect. You piss it on my eggs. Mm. <laughs> Brett, man, I didn't know you were into that shit, man. But I'm not whoa, judging. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Come on. Yo, man, Throwdown, man. This will be this will be doing Throwdown, man. Every week, man. Stay tuned. Every Thursday night, ten thirty p.m. Eastern. <laughs> uh, what the fuck are we right now? Um, after the fall, I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't remember. Um, Gorn battles. Is that some Star Trek shit? Uh, does that have a Star Trek logo? <laughs> let, me, let me click on this thing. Instead of, I'm Gorn just being battle? ignorant. Yeah, it's like what, Gorn battles. No, it's not. It's some For other a game. Called Gorn battle. It's a here. it's a VR game though. I'm I'm gonna guess that. Wonder, no wonder I didn't yeah. didn't remember it. See, after the fall, I don't know what the hell. It looks like a zombie game. I don't care. Um, and what else? Stardust Odyssey, a v another VR game. Really right. advertised VR. Yeah. Well, the thing is, VR, VR that VR thing well. sold sold three million and plus, so they have to advertise it. Yeah, that's state of play, man. Whack, whack. <laughs> I'm, and listen, I know you know that we 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 streamed it for the fans because they asked us, but I'm sorry, guys, we're not streaming that shit again. That was a waste of our fucking time, you know. This was a hype one too. Yeah, people were hype over nothing, you know. I for one thing. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, this shit was so bad when people were already talking about, oh, wait till the PS5 announcement, man. Then shit's gonna get real. <laughs> oh <laughs> no! Now you're sounding like Xbox. You guy, know, man. you know. So I was like, come on, guys, chill. Mike's spooky right now. All right, what the fuck are we? All right, we got to talk about Inside Xbox. That also happened on Tuesday. God, talk about something worse? Like, Jesus. Let's go. Oh, God, yeah. Okay, so I'm just looking at this from um from Kotaku. I'm just going to read whatever the fuck they got. Because i am be honest, I didn't watch it. Didn't waste my time. Um, yeah, I totally missed it. I was doing other things. Then don't. I, I mean, for, me, for me, I could have watched it. I just didn't care. Um, okay. Brandon, their thing was longer. It was, it was longer. An hour. And it did have a more memorable moment, which we'll talk about later. It's <laughs> 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 so bad. Awesome games, high five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, we got some more games coming to Xbox Game Pass. Um, we got Jump Force, Bloodstained, Lego Worlds. And on the PC side, we got City, Skyline, Saint Central 4. Bad North and Dirt Rally 2. Uh, the Xbox Game Pass app itself will be updated as well 
with improvements on the interface, whatever. Um, Felix the Reaper, I, I don't care about that. Project X Cloud. They, okay, by the way, did anybody watch this shit on this show? Watch nope, a bit no, of it. I did not. Okay, yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, X them, Cloud, I kind of. Yeah. Kind of sounds familiar. Um, I mean, again, I'm just reading the this. PlayStation from, Now thing they're basically pushing out, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm just reading this off of the Kotaku article, so, you know, give them credit where it's due. Um, Project X Cloud, the service that will, that will let people play Xbox console games on phones, tablets, etc. via streaming will have a public preview beginning in October. Okay, that's interesting. So basically, they're their answer to PlayStation Now. Yeah, pretty much. Um, if you're in the U.S., the U.K., or Korea, you can apply today, uh, which was on Tuesday. Halo 5, Guardians, Years of War 5, Sea of Thieves, and Killer Instinct will be the four games available in the preview. You'll need a wireless Xbox controller and an Android phone to try it out. Very interesting. You know, so they, they had to push that. Um, there's a, a pirate MMO called Atlas. Isn't that the one by your, your boy, That's Brett? That's the, the Ark guys. Yeah, yeah the yeah, Ark guys. That's literally, uh, literally the, the pirate skin to Ark. Yeah, so there you go, Brett. Get Tell you what, it looks good. Don't, Brett is, don't Brett believe it. Them. Don't believe it. <laughs> don't believe it. <laughs> don't get pulled into it. I know it looks good. It's not. Oh, actually. <laughs> um. Hey, Brett, check out. There's a new DayZ DLC coming out. Ooh! Wow! <laughs> cool. <laughs> Only coming back for that one. Oh uh, yeah. Let me let me let me call myself in uh, 2014 and oh. Let me know when I cared. Damn. When September ends. You know what I mean? You know. Um. A new Xbox. No. No. Here. No. I'm, ahead, I'm pissed about this. I am. Fucking angry uh oh! Get that soapbox. Let's go. I, ta I talked. For, I talked for years about how this this thing was going to be a developing genre, and it got. It started to be, and it got right on the fucking precipice, and then fucking Fortnite happened. And I don't know where we went sideways on that, because even the Fortnite itself started out as like a base building, combat oriented game, <clears throat> that then had this this kind of battle royale mode. So not only did it, but it somehow make battle royale, but it was birthed out of this genre that I knew was coming, I was waiting for, and there's still a trace, little hints of it. There's, there's Conan, there's the direction that Fallout tried to go in, there's there's kind of a demand for uh, online multiplayer survival games. Um, put everybody in a sandbox, make it difficult to survive, and watch them fight it out. It's kind of fun. But it, it somehow distilled into this thing that is Battle Royale, and I, I, I if if... If I could go back and tell myself, yeah, it's going to be a thing, but not the thing you think, it, I wouldn't believe myself. Yeah. I would not have believed that Daisy would have made Fortnite. Oh, man. By the way, Brett, one of the cool things about doing this podcast is that all this shit is on record. Is you're on record saying this shit was coming. <laughs> You've been saying it for years, you know? Um, but it didn't manifest in the form you thought it would, though. <laughs> oh, oh God, no. <laughs> I'm still ho I'm still hoping that there's a <clears throat> I mean I know there's a demand for it I, I hope that it's it's a really hard game to make and I hope the developers figure out that there's still a demand demand for it and are able to make a game but even watching like Conan on or playing Conan on the PS4 the, the PS4 just can't handle it it can't do that type of game the only way that it can do it is in a static environment like Battle Royale so. I'm really hoping next gen gives us some more power and we're able to see some new types of games because I'm getting kind of tired of the same ones over and over again. Oh, man. All right, uh, what else? Uh, so there's going to be a new Xbox One X and new Xbox One S hardware bundles. Uh, they're going to have Forza Horizon 4 and Lego Speed Champions, respectively. All right, um, and then it showed a couple trailers, uh, some game called Children of Morta. I don't know what that is. Uh, Code Vein, I think Riku's hyped for that. I'm really not. <laughs> I just saw uh -oh. some animation. I guess it looks like a Riku game. It did, but uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> Fuck that game. Yeah. Oh, damn. damn Andrew. Son. Um, the Outer Worlds. Oh, they had a, a thing for that. Hey, there you go. After Party. Um, they got uh, Tropical Six. Tropical is one of those fucking franchises. They just keep pumping them out. People buy them. It's just they're never. They just gonna pass. Like, it's not a big thing. What, the Outer Worlds? Oh, yeah, I mean, I know. Yeah, I, dude. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, you know, talk about it. Uh, just how are you not fucking excited about this? Why would I, I be excited about it? It's a Bethesda game, isn't it? No. 
Then <laughs> I thought it was a Bethesda game. Oh my god, dude, Jesus. So that, he knows physi- about it. Yeah. Yeah. That, physically, game, dude. that physically hurt. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought it was Bethesda. Isn't it oh, the it's Bethesda? by the guys that originally yeah. created Fallout. It's by the guys that Bethesda stole Fallout from. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's okay, so oh so that's where I thought that. Don't care. <laughs> I don't care. You know. All right, I do got to say that this this is the way to drop a game. Release uh, several awesome trailers that definitely identify the character and <sighs> nature of your game, and then a release date like less than six months later, October twenty fifth, from the yes. time that we first saw the we first announced the trailer of this thing to the release date. Boom! That fast. That is awesome. Remember when Fallout 4 did that? That was pretty awesome. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. come on, guys. Come on, developers. Like, you want, you really want to hit, you know, like, hit us hard? Like, don't tell us five years in advance. Don't start releasing footage three years in advance. Just be like, yeah, we're working on this. I'm not, I'm not saying pull a valve, but just mm. let people know. Be like, yeah, it's in development. And then let them speculate. I like the way Resident Evil 4 did it. Um, Resident Evil 2 did it, like, like, like maybe three years before the game came out, I was like, yo, we got this in development. They didn't say shit. And then at E3, yo, by the way, the game's coming out in three months. It's like, whoa, yeah, shit. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's, dude, that's awesome. That's a great yeah. way to keep a hype train running. Like, hype trains run out of steam. You start to get some backlash after a while where people are like, well, really thinking about it, like, how good is this going to be? And how good is this going to be? If it's not, if, if this is going to be so good, why haven't I seen more of it? Like, uh, you know, it's it's kind of the, the cyberpunk thing. Like, the, the longer it sits there, the more you have time to think about it, the less appetizing it seems. The best way I can, I, the best example I can give, or the best metaphor I can I can put up is, when you're really hungry and you start cooking something that takes forever, and it sounds really good, but after smelling it while cooking it for like five fucking hours, by the time you finally get to eat it, you're, you're just kind of like, ah, I'm not as excited about this because I've been smelling it all day. Am I the <laughs> only person that that happens with? No, but I understand. I, I understand. Or like you're, you're, you're nibbling little bits of it as you're cooking, and so by the time you finally get to the final meal, you're just like, ah. Well, that's I'm your not, problem. You're I'm nibbling not. it, but the, but I, I get the metaphor for sure. It's to me, I just like it. It's like um, you like you wanted a burger all day, right? And you know, you take that first bite. This is fucking awesome. Halfway through the burger, it's still good, but not as good as that first bite. You know? Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I got your I got your meaning. Um. What else? Hold on. There's more shit they had. Um, hey, he got you. Ghost Recon. They had a, a thing for that. The game's coming out next week. Uh, look out for my review. That's coming soon. Um, Hitman 2 has a new uh, expansion. That's pretty cool. Uh, new DLC for Ace Combat for you Ace Combat fans. You know. Um, I used to be a heavy Ace Combat fan. Yeah, well, I need to talk to you about Ace Combat because I don't get it. Mm, okay. <laughs> uh, but, we, you know, maybe maybe later on today, maybe not ever. Who knows? <laughs> that's, why like, that's why I like the Warhawk so much. Yeah. Um, and then we have to already talk about Daisy. So, yeah, inside Xbox, again, the only highlight that I saw was um, they were talking about some fucking game, and the girl that was there, she was like, awesome game, high five. And the guy's like, yeah, how about not? And she just, like, had to give her own self a high five. It was hilarious, <laughs> man. Damn, you just looked the, away. They- they're not even hyped for their own. They're shit. not even hyped for their own shit. It's like, damn, <laughs> man, like that was brutal. Don't leave the girl hanging, bro. Shit. He, he was like, listen, I got paid. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. All right, let's move on, man. Where the fuck are we? Um, Tony, 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 Tony. What the fuck? We have not waited for the response. Did you know that? All right, let's stop. Dude, he's too busy trying to survive Brexit. Leave him alone. Yeah, right. <laughs> I heard he was trying to he's trying to find a way to defend that uh, that game. Oh, they actually filled. The yeah, they actually filled up the story. Um, so today, um, you're just gonna get out today. Death Stranding has gone gold, people. That means it's actually coming out. Yeah. That's the thing. Well, it was it was actually earlier today. Yeah, earlier but, today. Know, Japan. It was uh, yeah, Japan. Japan it was the By the way, the the article I posted literally it was just a sentence. The game went gold. That was all it said, and they filled it out later. Um, yeah. not really much to say there. Gone Gold means his game's not gonna get delayed. It's it's out in you know it's being November manufactured. 8th. The the release date is solidified. Mm-hmm. Yep. I mean they solidified already, but yeah, this really solidifies. Like even when they solidify a release date, don't take that shit seriously until they actually print the games. Then you're good to go. You know. 
but obviously they're still going to keep working on it until the, the game comes out. You know, um, also they gotta yeah. they gotta make they gotta make those patches because yeah, everybody's going to make some patches when you, when you drop the game. Um, and, and yeah, we already talked about the 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 special edition. We forgot to talk about the the special edition of the the Last of Us that comes with a backpack. Both of the backpacks made not make made of like a trash bag like the Fallout. Oh. One. oh. Have some night is on the it. Fallout thing in there in our in our listing here? By the way, oh, yeah, there's another one of them, folks. Oh man, what happened, Manny? With Fallout, Fallout thing in here in the in the I didn't see the, the they, show notes they this were, time. They around. were called the mask. I'll, I'll oh yeah, let's talk. Yeah, let's talk, oh, yeah, let's talk about. The, I don't have it much. Go ahead. The, the new Coca Cola yeah. uh, power helmets that, yeah. that uh, have a mold issue. <laughs> Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, they were not in the show notes, many, but go on and talk about them. That I totally forgot about that. Let me add that right now. It was not the special edition, by the way. This is not the one that you, the one that came with the the, the trash bag and all that stuff. It's actually another one that GameStop was selling, which is Nuka Cola theme. You know, red and white it has a uh, mold or mold issues. So if you wear it, you can get respiratory problems. Oh, all kinds of wonderful things. Uh, now, put putting that perspective. Um, it's got cotton. It's got a cotton liner in it. So if you wear it, it can get humid, and it runs the risk of anything getting humid and in a hot, humid, dark environment mm -hmm. after time can grow mold. So it's oh. not that it, it has mold or has risk of mold exposure. It's just it, it has it, cotton it, in it. Potential to get. <laughs> yeah, if if but you like use it because you know because you're gonna breathe out moisture. So it's just a bad. It's just a bad environment. Also means that that what the helmet doesn't have any sort of breathing holes. No, it it, it does, but like, and, and this is the thing. Like, this is the part where I was like, okay, I kind of get that, but isn't that the same for like every Halloween mask? Halloween masks are strictly <coughs> made. Masks and things are usually made you know, to like a strict line of things that they can't use specific types of material, plastics. Whatever this is, is something that they shouldn't have been using. Yeah, yeah. I know it's the cotton. There's they, there's a cotton lining in it. That's that, that's what I was reading at least. Is there, yeah, there's a cotton lining. So in another it. another. Yeah, that's, it's a poor choice. There's you know another like notch in the six uh ad right. Another L. <laughs> it's like hey the bag doesn't work. Ad. Or we're, we're we're disappointed in the direction of the game, so it's just all this. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. It's like the, the 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 drama of this game doesn't end, you know. Yeah, man, at a certain point, it's people looking for stuff. You it's, think it's you cool. think this it's is? Cool so, I do definitely think that the people losing their minds over the dumb bag is kind of a. Well, it wasn't a broken bag. It was just a shit bag. It was and a like, crappy bag. Like, but I mean, it's it's the crappy bag that you get in most special editions. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, hey, have you never got a special edition before? All right, wow, this is really low quality. You get, you look at the picture, you're like, wow, that looks cool. And then you get it, and you're like, oh, what is this? This is, this is only three and a half inches big. The only the, the mistake that they made with that with that bag and all the bunch of the stuff with it is that they didn't say you know a very in final product or something like that for their yeah, asses well, if they if they decided to use some cheaper material. It, 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 was, it was just a perfect storm. Like it's become weirdly mematic to to hate on Fallout. Like even even at this point, like I, it's it's a really interesting phenomenon. Like I'd, I'd be. I'm, I'm, actually kind of fascinated by it um, like a, it's become like a thing like in other words it's like you know you know people who haven't played it and stuff still making fun of it you know you never touched it well it, it's that but it's also this uh it's and, and i noticed <clears throat> some of it when i was playing it people get kind of uh like even if you adopt the attitude of like yeah man i'm doing my own thing i'm having a good time like, people will sit there and line up and be like, well, here's the reason why this is bad. This and this and this and this and this. You know, Sea Thieves kind of got the same thing. Um, so, like, I, there, there's a weird intersection there where if it were just Fallout and people saying, like, oh, people expected it to be a Fallout game, I'd be like, no, because Sea of Thieves kind of did the same thing. Like, well, Sea of Thieves just did it because it didn't have any content. Like, what? Well, it actually had a lot of content. Like, so maybe it's just, you know correlation and it's not 
I'm just implying causality, but it, it's, it's, it's. I think a lot of it is just people just can't understand that somebody can actually enjoy something that everybody else doesn't like. Yeah, people, yeah. There's some people out there that are just like, what I wanted. I love this. Yeah, only yeah. possible. It is. I feel like, it, but I feel like that a lot of people that do like the things that don't that, that not everybody likes sort of get. It. He's like, come on, guys. It's like talking about I, smack about the thing that I like is not going to stop me from liking it, right? Well, I also think the dinosaur is fan. The what effect? I'm a dinosaur is fan. I hear that shit all the time. Uh oh. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's probably the same thing. Like. I mean, but to be fair, making... nine was fucking garbage. Listen, Riku must must know something because they keep fucking making dynasty. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, so definitely, I definitely think it's more about the lore than the fucking franchise now. And and it's not like every, all of the Musou games are garbage. Everybody loves those fucking spinoffs, like the Hyrule Warriors and the Fire Emblems and the um. North what's Star the one. yeah? The, I actually like the Fist of the North Star one. So I mean, it is what it is. It's for him because he's destroy waves and waves of enemies because that's that's totally Kenshiro. Yeah. yeah, that's what he does, you know. Um, all right. So, yeah, anything else you guys want to say on on that crazy mask? No, Fallout needs to source better uh, better suppliers. Whoever you're sourcing out to make your merchandise is doing a terrible job, and you should probably fire and beat them publicly. <laughs> yeah. Right, this is referring back to the fucking Last of Us backpack. We're just hoping that the quality Naughty Dog decides to go with is is up to snuff because you're paying two fifty for that shit. Two fifty. Two fifty for a backpack. Two fifty. By the yeah, way, all all those motherfuckers sold out within like an hour or two. All I remember Larray was trying to get one. He couldn't get one, yeah. man. He was mad. Is your boy the guy. manga guy? The manga guy tried to get one. He couldn't yo, get one. Yo, yo, you don't know who it is. is. You know it's the manga guy. The manga guy. Yeah, the um, backpack is it's sold out of Amazon. It's sold out of GameStop. It's sold out of Best Buy. It's sold out everywhere. Two hundred fifty dollars. What else? What else does it come with? What else does it come with? Oh yeah, it came up with yeah. some other like shit. The, Let yeah, music, vinyl, um, vinyl, what so, the know, fuck, vinyl, whatever the fuck, vinyl, that, motherfucker, vinyl, vinyl, potato, potato. No, 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 no. The vinyl is not a thing, man. Fuck out of here. It is now, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you call, you heard it on Throwdown, son. Vinyl, let's go. And dinosaur warriors, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Just get that vinyl of Dynasty Warriors, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's a vinyl, I guess a figure, right? So it's called the Ellie edition? Does yeah. it come with a little Ellie? Yeah, it comes with a little Ellie action Statue, figure. Statue, right, that I saw? Her, like, playing, playing the... Oh, right, yeah, yeah, so check it out. Song. So, yeah, it comes with a little Ellie statue playing guitar. Uh, comes with a backpack. Comes with a with a vinyl. Um, comes with a bunch of other shit. Um, like a keychain? What the fuck? What, um, her girlfriend's uh, wrist thing. By the way, Brett, you 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 fucking called it, bro. This is a revenge story. <laughs> the trailer showed it, so you were right, yeah, sir. Yeah, Brett, Brett was oh, like, oh, Brett, you were right, oh, sir. He's pissed. Yeah. So yeah, like the trailer made no, uh, hit. They, they, there was no room for ambiguity with that last trailer. It's like, okay, this bitch is dead. Ellie's getting revenge. Oh, uh, finally vindicated. There you ah, go, that man. Fucking year. <laughs> it, yeah, it took Feels three years. Good. <laughs> Oh, oh man, it um, took, took a year really because that uh, yeah, it did took a year. Said he was pissed. <laughs> yeah. said he was quit pissed. correcting me on time. I yeah. have the time perception of a. Yeah, don't 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 steal this thunder, Manny. Come on now. Yeah, every time the thunder? podcast ends, I think it may be gone. <laughs> um. Okay. So yeah, it comes with a PS4 dynamic theme, a set of PSN avatars, digital soundtrack, a digital Jeez. mini art book. T -t Tony, t who's trying to cut me off? Let me finish, man. T -t 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 um all right now i'm done actually ammo capacity upgrade crafting training manual all right anyway go ahead riku ammo capacity yeah, upgrade. yay the question is do you think this is worth a young yeah. 250 yeah. yeah by the way no by the way it's not two 250 it's 230 baby oh cute yeah okay hold on like the, the part of this game bro you cut out you said part of this game what now this is our tingling part of the, the types of this type of game is ammo management. That's like a huge portion of the game, and so 
not anymore. Ellie's gonna have a Let, bunch let's, of let's, weapons. Let's just be honest. Yeah, so they're probably gonna they're probably gonna give you like one tier upgrade, and that's it. Um, by the way, Ellie is gonna have a they, skill tree. They 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 said. Yeah, they said she's gonna have three bullets three for days. <laughs> bullets for days. You know how uh, freaking Kratos had in the 2018? He had like three different skill trees. No, not not Kratos. Fucking what's the girl name? Uh, from Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, uh, Aloy. I, I, Aloy, yeah, you said she had two, uh, three different skill trees. It seems like they said they're they're trying to do something similar with that. Yeah, and if this is like I'm nor a, if this is like normal um, collector's edition DLC, it's gonna be worthless one hour into the game. You know, every time they give you like, oh, here's an enhancement, that shit is like worthless, like an hour or two into the game. You know, a little bit of a boost in the beginning of the game, like, whoa, yeah, it's like, oh, get this arm, like, get this armor. This armor is awesome, and then like two seconds later, oh, that armor is better. <laughs> yeah, I bitch, but I love this game. Nah. Yeah. Um. What if, yeah. what if it? What if it is? Dawn in Zombie Land. Would if people really be mad? If it was like that, what if it was? Um, this is for all for Brett. What if it was essentially Horizon Zero Dawn? Zombie stuff. So a better Days Gone. Essentially Days Gone. There's and. And Ellie, <laughs> but Brett uh, liked the first one. Yeah, I like the like. I don't I like kind of. Oh, Brett, you're cutting the, out, man. I don't mind the corridor style uh, cinematic take that that uh, Uncharted and Last of Us took. Like, I don't mind those types of games. You know, even even my you know my my all time favorite games, Dark Souls. It's not full open world. I do like that sometimes, but only if it's constructed well. I've, I've mm -hmm. been a big advocate slash critic of, you know, world design. You can't just say, like, okay, here's the next area, there's a quest that'll lead you to the next town, and they're gonna give you a new cluster quest. Fuck you, make me want to explore the environment. But I have no problem with, you know, I said, they, they're, they're good about uh, not being super obvious, like, hey, I walked into a room full of uh, half cover. I wonder if there's going to be a battle here. Like, they're at least... They do at least a pretty good job of sewing it to cinematics and they're making it. I don't, I don't remember ever playing uh, uh, an Uncharted, that was always... Uncharted game where I was like, I'm bored of shooting these people. Yeah. That's never happened, but I always remember in the last Last of Us game, the last Last of Us game, mm -hmm. literally the, the, the little narrative dissonance um, uh, screw up was always like, you always walk into a room, that, and then all of a sudden you see all these stupid little things all jingling and shining all over the damn place, because that's all the, the mo slash objects that you can throw and stuff. So it's like, oh, wait, get in later. Yeah, I'm really hope. I'm imagining they they've cleaned that up by now. At least I pray to God they have. On the way this game is going to be is, I think it's going to be. I don't think it's going to be open world, but I think it's going to be a little bit like an expanded version of the way that Uncharted Four is. Yeah, they already confirmed it's not an open world game. They already confirmed it. Open world, but I think it's bigger. Yeah, that's than, exactly what they said today. It's like, again, like that open area inside of um, Uncharted 4 or a lot of the way Lost Legacy is built. So it's like there there are these big wide areas to explore. A smaller, like, designed areas that they like, you know, that could lead to. Well, Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 5 has had two big open worlds in it, you know? This is more like it's an open, big open space sections that are more curated. Legacy and and um, last Uncharted game was where they had those big areas that you could kind of drive and yeah. All right, um, and then do we still have time? Yes, we do. All right, Manny and I are going to tell you about some adventures we had. Um, so over the weekend, uh, we went to Seattle uh, for the Contra Rogue Core event, which was streamed on Saturday. Uh, first time in Seattle for both of us, uh, but we were there for very two two different reasons. I was there to cover the game. Manny was there to uh, present the game and do interviews and stuff. So yeah. let's yep. hear uh, your your side of the story first. For me, it was, uh, it was this was obviously the first time I've ever really been flown out to the things. I mean, granted, I've been I've been E three stuff. I have had my e3 where i've had you know professional passes but i still have to get myself and get flights over there so this is the first time that i've ever been flown 
specific reason to do you know promotional uh, reasons on on the game so it was actually really cool is that it, it was fun being on the opposite side of this stuff because i've sort of in the stv and play days we sort of did stuff like this where we were just like interviewing people like fun being on the opposite side of that being the interviewee the taking those things and uh yeah it was really was really kind of it was really fun well, on friday i went in um when i got off the plane got off and got up in nine got uh, on the, off the plane at nine o'clock in the morning uh, literally went off to uh to do um or uh you know a dry run of the whole show so we just did the whole show from from scratch and all that stuff yeah fun fun stuff is they actually put me in the same hotel as tony and uh and um uh, you know well everybody was there all the all the journals and guys covering not everybody them. oh really who wasn't on there because uh for, for not, like, none yeah. of them the media people the media people from konami were not actually oh. in that hotel they were actually staying closer to the amazon slash twitch ah okay yeah yeah you're right because uh you were in the hotel with uh, with all the journalist guys in the hotel the journalist uh so yeah it was you know funny because i literally got to see a bunch of people that i knew or and got to talk with some people while we're waiting for the little tram to get in um it's 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 fun like, again it's like we're in there for two different reasons but it's like so yeah it was really it was really cool and i got to you know got to hang out with obviously with everybody and just do the little thing they had a really cool set and to present the game on and uh, talked a little bit. My section got a little bit cut because we had technical difficulties on the on the sh on the show. Uh, Fifteen. Our sh our segment was supposed to be fifteen minutes long, and it ended up being seven. As many, uh, much as information across <laughs> in less the time. It was, but it's, I thought it was a good show, and I thought uh, you know I really, I really liked the 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 people the, the people at Twitch. This was this was a you know a joint venture between twitch and uh, twitch prime and uh konami for this game funky like you know items that are going to show up on twitch prime for people and you can do all, they have all this weird this connection stuff that you can do within the game and send out you know fun little goals and things and then they're going to have skins and weapons and all kinds of other fun things to manny finish up uh skins and what yeah, you know, skins and all kinds of other fun stuff in the game. You know that you can only get through Twitch Prime. Nice. Um, and then yeah, I, I went there for the you know as for the journalist side. I've been never been to Seattle. It's a nice thing. Again, this just proves to me because the first time because I haven't traveled at all until I started doing this whole gaming thing. Right, first city I went to was L.A. I'm like, I hate it fucking L.A. Right, so I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, I guess I'm one of those New Yorkers. I doesn't like any other cities. I've been to Boston, loved it. Been to Anaheim, loved it. Been to North Carolina, loved it. Been to Seattle, loved it. It's L.A. I don't like. I don't like L.A. <laughs> Every other city I've been to has been fantastic. You know, um, Raleigh, Cal North Carolina was dope. Um, Albany was fucking dope. You know, every place I've been to that I've been you know invited to because great it's just los angeles fucking sucks you know um the, thing about LA, the fun thing about i mean excuse me the fun thing about uh, seattle though is that we actually know quite a bit of people there oh yeah and we got to hang out with some of our friends you know a shout out to ghost dini you know we we got to see him uh he's been a fan of throwdown since the beginning uh we're, we're friends now though so we got to see him a couple of our other friends very clean city very chilled very relaxed and i already know the protocol when i go to uh, to, to the west coast relax slow down because everybody else is slow and you just go with the flow <laughs> Um, that was good, and man, we went to that um, the, the the after party, open bar. Man, you know how your boy had to get down, man. I'm interviewing the fucking director of Contra. I'm drunk. <laughs> it's hilarious, but look, thankfully I had my fucking notes ready and shit, um, which I don't do. But I, that day I was like, I should I should write my questions. Out. Good thing I did because I was like, I was gone, son. Come on, it's an open bar. I had Jack Jack and Coke all night, man. I was done. Well, Tony, sensible yeah. Tony was like, yeah, I better write these things down. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, anyway, so I'm skipping ahead. So, yeah, we took us to the, to the Amazon building and shit. We played a game. Um, and I was, I told, I think it was Ben I told this shit. I'm like, yo, because at the last minute, we got to play the multiplayer. I'm like, why the fuck didn't you put this on a spot? Like, this is cool. You know, it was kind of like competitive and stuff. Um, you know, it kind of reminded me of Smash TV. 
Uh, that was cool. And then afterwards, we went to this little bar called Shorty's that Robert recommended. And what's cool about that, well, we, me and Robert and a couple of the other, like, you know, influencer guys, we decided, fuck it, let's walk. You know, so it was like a 20 minute walk. And we took in the sights in the city. I, I, I looked at my phone. I'm like, oh, I took pictures with people on the street randomly. I'm already drunk at this point. I don't remember anything. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know but I do remember we went to the bar. Well, we started talking to these Australian chicks. Man, you weren't there at this point, right? Um, I'm, I can't say what happened after, but we had some fun with all Australian girls. Um, yeah, it was good times, man. I, I would definitely want to go to Seattle again. Very, very good stuff. And obviously, shout out to Konami for us uh, taking us out there. It's cool to see Konami trying to get back, you know, with the, with the good graces of people. You know, I also met a lot of cool dudes, motherfuckers from Argentina, Brazil, all over the world. You know, and you know how I get down, man. If you're good people, I'm I'm, I'm already your friend. You know, so a lot of. You know, said there's and, a really. It was a really good. Uh, really uh, at least Good in general mix, yeah. on on on, the, on this at least on on working on this one there's just a lot of latin america that uh i actually ended up doing interviews with maybe because my name is emilio lopez yeah. i don't know but yeah i kept that getting asked by by a lot of uh to do interviews oh i threw those motherfuckers at you at that dinner that we went to i was like yo you got to talk to my friend emilio man he's he's puerto rican man and he's like oh yeah <laughs> you know <laughs> By the way, that place we went to, the the steak place, I forgot. I think it was, I don't know. So the show is literally down the block from the airport. Like, I, I took a taxi, and next minute we're there. I'm like, okay, shit, I could have just huffed it over here, you know? Um, yeah, Seattle was good stuff. I know, because I never go to PAX, you know? So, yeah, good stuff. And also, I guess I, should, I could give you my little quick review of Contra Rogue Core, man. My official review is coming out tomorrow, but I'll do it now. So, yeah, they gave us a free copy of the game. You know, uh, let me put myself on full screen here. You know, this is the cover by um, Tom Dubois, who actually did the cover of the original game. You know, that that one that was pretty much a fucking ripoff of 80s action he didn't, movies. Didn't he do that? No, he didn't do that. It's uh, Contra 3. Oh, the Alien Wars. Yeah, yeah. Or as um, he did, essentially, anything after that point, he did all of those uh, did, did all those covers. So Metal Gear, Snake's Revenge, uh, that the Contra games, all that stuff. Okay, so yeah, he did that. Um, here's the thing. And I said this um, during the, the show. I'm going to say now, if you go into this game wanting an old school Contra experience, you're going to fucking hate this shit. This is not old school Contra at all. If you go into it wanting a really fun twin stick shooter, you're going to like it. it. It's all about how you approach the game. Because when I started playing, I'm like, this is this is not Contra at all, man. What the hell is this shit? But then I started playing. I'm like, oh, this is kind of like like Dead Nation. There was this, it was this game on PS3 for you guys who remember. I think they brought it on PS4 too. Riku, did it? Did they? Yeah, yeah. they said Apocalypse Edition on PS4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I went into it with that mindset, I'm like, okay, this is kind of fun, you know, um, crazy over the top battles and all that. Um, really good cutscenes, wink, wink, <laughs> you know. <laughs> By the way, that was a fucking trip because I'm looking at these cutscenes like that's Manny's art. Like, I know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know it's his art, but just seeing it is, like, weird. Because I'm like, I know that shit, you know? Like, because I know your art style, so that was cool. Um, s some of the controls get a little finicky sometimes, but you could upgrade your character, so that kind of helps a little bit. Level designs are, you know, kind of eh. Um, playing with other people is a lot of fun. I, I think that's probably the optimal way to play the game, especially against those bosses. Those bosses are fucking bullet sponges, but if you have a team, you could take them out pretty fast. Um, but again, the multiplayer would surprise me. Like the the one mode I kept playing is this is like their take on soccer, where basically you got to take this alien ball and put it into a shredder, which is like the other team's uh, goal. Um, that was we had a lot of fun playing that, you know. Um, so yeah, again, if you go into this wanting uh you know the alien wars. You ain't getting that, you know, and I still wish it would have been that I'm just being honest like I like the game, you know, but I wish it would have been like old school 2d fucking Contra the shit I grew up with. That's what I wanted, you know, um, but hey, I always yeah. I always felt I always felt like at least getting on the project. I always felt it was it was kind of a hard sell. Yeah, it's a lot of it's not familiar. It isn't at all. But again, it, if you just come into it as a twin stick shooter, you're going to have a lot of fun. But don't come into it with Contra. It's just Contra in name. There, there's Contra things and there's some music and some sound effects. Uh, the, the story obviously references the Alien Wars and all that. And a couple other little things here and there, but it's not really Contra. So, But I'm just glad Contra is at least back. And at least I'm just being honest right now. I'm glad Konami's at least bringing this shit back. You know, um, Hopefully it'll be more of it. And if we get that, that if we get fuck, if we get a Contra game, like on the level of Alien Wars, but with like bloodstained type of graphics, man, forget about it. I'll be over over that shit. You know, 
is throw a four player co op. That'd be kind of crazy. I don't know if that could work in Contra. Have they ever have they ever had more than two players on the screen at once in any of these games? I don't other think they two? have. I mean, no. I mean, other than two players, no. I don't. I don't I think, can't think of it. Yeah. yeah. But that would be cool, man. Um, so yeah, go check it out. You know, um, but again, I see. I can't even say if you're a Contra fan because if you're a Contra fan, you're probably not gonna like this game. You know, but if you just want a fun little twin stick shooter, check it out. You know. Um, also, since I have your attention here, a rested uh, thing. I have a couple of reviews coming for you guys. Some cool controllers, man. Let me put my ass on full screen here. Let's see your. Let's see that. Let's see that beautiful okay. beam footage. All right. So this is um, the new Fusion. The, this is from Power A. The new Fusion controller, officially licensed PlayStation Fight Pad. You okay. see what this shit looks like, son. Oh, let me get the lighting on this bitch. This is fi- like Sega, a- Sega Saturn controller, son. Yeah. You know, so it has the the cool. six the six face buttons, the D pad, which is a floating D pad, and also you could change the um, the triggers. I mean the the um the shoulder buttons to go where you want. This shit is fucking dope. I'm gonna have my review for that for you guys pretty soon. And you know me, I'm a fight pad guy, right? Like fight like arcade sticks. I'm not really. I don't really fuck with those. I'm all about fight pads. And with every fight pad I check, I have a Manny. You you've been here. I have a ton of them, right? When I review a fight pad, I always tell myself. How close does this emulate the Sega Saturn controller? This is the closest you could get to it without it being an actual Sega Saturn controller. It is so fucking good, you know? And also speaking about that, I'm going to have this review up for you soon. Um, it's kind of interesting. So this is the 8-bit do or 8-bit do. I don't know how, how fuck you say it. Jesus, so, how many times am I going to have to correct you on that one? Yeah, right? I don't know. So, okay, what's interesting, this I already reviewed, right? This is the M30 variant. The only thing is this is compatible with this the sega genesis mini man you know Ooh, so yeah so that's compatible hey, street fighter street fighter 2 proper on there yeah I'll check it out all the games that comes with it you know uh by the way you could play street fighter you know on your playstation 4 with this baby by the way i need to call out um actually i don't think i could review this yet or can i um anyway i i'll oh, fuck it i'll say it i don't know if you guys could see this on camera right the the little dongle that comes with it yeah you can see you see the the bricks in it yeah, yeah. Okay, so these bricks, because remember, 8-bit dough, it's kind of supposed to be like Nintendo. The original color of this was like the bricks from Super Mario. They just colored the bricks black. I'm like, come on, son. <laughs> like, it's, you know, like do something genesis at least, you know? Um, I'm just being an asshole. <laughs> um, so, yeah, look kind of lazy, though. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, tomorrow I'll have my review Friday, my reviews for Contra and the, the Fusion Controller. And then the um, the Sega Genesis one I have next week. So yeah, again, man, you know me, I'm all about five pads, baby. Shout out to Jeffrey Wilson, man. He, I, I I gave him a shout out in the the review because he he did a, a, a editorial this week saying that like you like if you want to be a real man, you got to play with an Arcade Stick. I'm like, word, okay. <laughs> now, nah, man, fight pads all day, man. You know, and that's gonna pretty much do it for our show. Uh, just one last thing. We're going to be back on our Monster Hunter grind tomorrow, people. Uh Uh-oh, what's this? So, Chris, Carlos, I hope you're ready, man. Oh, yeah. I've been been still grinding. Nice, nice. Picking flowers. (laughs) Picking hot baths. That's the life. Hot baths, fucking eating the the fucking fire things, mining. My cat chef, it's great. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you guys need to level up. Yes, we do. Uh, I haven't, been, I haven't played. I couldn't play last week, obviously, uh, but definitely need to do that. That's sketch, sketch, man. You down, son? You down, man? Mm-hmm. Let's go. You know Let's he he, he helped us last week. He says he's at the last one. Man, fuck you, man. Who you think <laughs> you are, man? <laughs> it's like, oh, look at me. I'm on the final boss. <laughs> Damn, man. We're, we're right. still in the same spot. Yeah, all right. He, that's he's down. Do. He's down, man. He's down. Hey, old man. I like I like the way he talks, man. His accent is shit, you know. <laughs> so like that deep voice. Yeah, he's got he's got that he's got that deep New Yorkness. Yeah. Oh yeah, sketch. We are very well aware that the final boss is not the end game. Ooh, Monster Hunters. Oh man, there is crazy shit beyond it. I Monster Hunter for life, man. Um, all right. So Riku, man, thank you for being on. If you want to plug your stuff, man, go ahead and do it now. At Riku's on one on Twitter, I was dropping all types of polls today. I was whoring, <laughs> whoring the polls out. It was fun. You know, I was glad that I was right on one thing. You know, they, they Sony did, not Sony, fucking Naughty Dog basically, you know, Loki announced that they're making a standalone. And I called it. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. Riku, you call that exactly, bro. 
you know? Yeah, I thought it was, I thought I had to wait a couple months before I see that shit. I was like, let me go ahead and bookmark this tweet so I can pull it out when I'm fucking right. Yeah, and I was right a couple <laughs> hours later, so that was good. Yeah, you didn't even have to wait months; you just wait hours. You yeah. know, that shit is hilarious. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. You know? And, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, Far Riku, man, one of the best accounts, man. This dude's cracks. Me. You and BG were entertaining me all fucking day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had the fucking uh, cat cat gift to you. I was like, gotta hoard these tweets out. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Yeah, I think we're done here, people. So thank you for watching and listening. Subscribe to Throwdown on SoundCloud, iTunes, and the YouTubes. Follow us on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook at Throwdown Show. Links are located in the description below. Once again, our show is Tony Polanco and Tasha joined by Emilio Lopez. See you later, guys. Oh, by the way, there's a little bit of something happening next week. What's happening, man? Was the world it's exploding? It's called for Comic-Con. I'm going to have... Oh, shit. I forgot about Comic-Con. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's coming. So I got my little... I got the digital edition of Solid Zero Substance, which is essentially a audio tape version of it. Uh, let me actually give you a real example. Actually, no, I don't have any. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll talk about we'll talk about that shit like on Sunday. <laughs> you know, uh, we'll talk about that. that. Talk about that. Totally I have my art books yeah, and yeah. all that stuff. And uh, yeah, so if you're if you're in New York, uh, New York, and uh, going to the Comic Con, you can find me in the Artist Alley. Shit. Oh, shut up, Barry. You know you're gonna be there. He's like, oh, I'm Barry. not going. He goes every every year. I'm not going this. Year. I'm not going. He's always fucking there. You know. Anyway, I'm not going. Talking about? yeah, ba- then, Barry then, Burton, man, Barry Burton. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Barry Burton always goes like this. Uh, I'm not gonna go this year. Uh, then I see. Then then we see him every I'm fucking come year. Here and pick up some stuff. Every fucking year, man. Anyway, Chris Seeley. Hey, take care, everyone. Carlos Romero. This is <laughs> Brett Burdock. He stole your fucking outro, man. It's from real party people. There you go. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and Riku Sun One, the only one. And peace out, little people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Riku, you can say that it's cool. You can yeah, say it. Good, Look at the avatar. Anyway, <laughs> right, we'll see you on Sunday, man. Later. Deuces. Peace.